Okay, this is step two on how to continue building your Power BI project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to System and go to Tag Editor. What this does, this creates our tags which are going to correspond to your push buttons and your data displays. In other words, this is what you're going to see on the Power BI screen. So first of all, I have to create the addresses and the objects. So right here, this is your insert. So I'll click one time. So your instructor should give you a spreadsheet um, telling you how many objects to add. I have seven objects here. So I'm going to create seven of these. <coughs> your instructor also would indicate if the objects or the tags are going to be bits or um, unsigned integers. If it's an on and off, like a push button, like a start stop um, push button, it should be just a bit level. Um, make sure you don't have any spaces on your tag name or your program will not accept it. So I'm going to do my start stop, then I'm going to do a pump run, and I'm going to do also a pump indicator that's to show that the pump is um, running okay all three of these are bits now I'm going to do my numerical data displays or my graphs so first I'm going to do a valve this basically will look just like a valve opening and closing and this is going to be an unsigned integer the next thing is the water level which is a graph that shows me what the water level is. That's also an unsigned integer. Then we go to set point, and this will basically allow us to push this icon, and we should be able to set where the water level should be at. That's also an unsigned integer. Then we go to a uh, numeric display. I'm just going to call it a display and. What this does, it gives us a numerical value of what the um, display should be or the water level. For example, it could be 5 inches, would represent 500. So this is basically how you do this. So when you finish with this, just click Save. Okay, I have errors right here. So what I'm going to see, what kind of errors there were, so hit No. And right here it says no name is empty. So I want to come back over here. And I forgot to put my node name. So I'm going to double click here. And I'm going to choose SLC 124. Your instructor will give you this name also. You can copy and paste. So I'm going to hit the copy key. And then come over here and then hit paste. Just back and forth like this. This will save you some time. Right, now I want to do my addresses. Each of these tags will have a certain address. A bit should have a address with a binary number. For example, this one will be slash one, and this one would be slash two. And then your valve, again, your instructor will give you all these addresses. N10, 16. And the water level is N10, 14. Your integer files is what holds all this um, data right here. It's going to be like a numerical scale, 0 to 16383 or 0 to 1050, depending on what kind of um, tag it is. This is a N70. This is a N71. And let me hit click again and I'm going to hit save and see what happens. If you notice when I hit save, nothing happened here, no errors or anything, so now I'm good to go. So now I can come back over here and now I'm ready to drop objects. So that will be video number three showing you how to add the objects.